Get your spray undercoat to do the work for you. On this right ogre, we will be using a zenithal undercoat to mimic natural shadows and highlights. We are going to use this highlight at the undercoating process to cut down time and get more models painted quicker. I'll apply black from the lowest angles through to dark grey, light grey and finally white around the face and the shoulders. I've selected the Rat Ogre for today's example because of its medium size. But this technique will work on smaller models, such as the Clan Rats, and larger models, such as the Hell Pit Abomination. Stick around and I'll showcase them at the end of the video. I'm using Citadel spray cans for this method, Chaos Black, Mechanicus Standard Grey, Gracia and Corax White. This process works great for natural textures, such as skin and muscles, fur and cloth. Here you can see that the black undercoat is only slightly visible in the parts of the model that would have the most amount of shadow, the armpits and the underbelly. Gracia is our main colour. This helps imitate the natural white or grey furs of these Skaven, as well as giving us a base colour for the contrast paints yet to come. And finally, white is applied sparingly towards the face and shoulders where the light would naturally hit the model. At the end of the undercoat process, we now have a model that is lighter towards the face and darker in the folds and recesses. Before we apply our wash to the model, let's save some more time and block in a few extra colours. I've started with a red cloth, applied with the Blood Angels Red contrast paint. Screamer Pink is applied to the tail, but for variation, you could also try Pink Horror. Apply a solid base coat of lead belcher to the armour. Don't forget to paint the buckles using lead belcher as well. Rakaf flesh is added to the teeth and the claws. When you paint the leather strapping, consider using light colours near the focal points, near the head for example, and darker colours further away. I've used Agaros Dunes for these straps around the head. Wildwood contrast for the ones much further away. And any strapping in the mid parts, I've used Gore Grunter contrast paint.
Finally, a really watered down wash of Caribou Crimson is applied to the stitching and cuts in the skin. Manage the excess wash into the natural folds of the muscle and skin. This will help prevent tide marks, which is where areas of the pigment is more intense at the edges of where it pulls. Now with all of these colours blocked in, we are ready to finish the process we started with the zenithal undercoat. Use a very watered down wash of seraphin sepia all over the skin, tail and cloth. Like the Caraberg Crimson Wash, you'll need to manage any pulling while it dries. I've also added a wash of Agrax Earthshade to help define areas of the cloth and strapping, as well as shading areas of the armour. And finally, when that is dry, wash the armour again with known oil. From here, your Rat Ogre is battle ready. Just finish the base to match the rest of your army. I'm going to add a few finer details, so stick around to see the end result. Paint the eyes carefully with Contrast Blood Angels Red. Apply watered down Scrag Brown to the armor, focusing on areas where rust would naturally form. Finish the armor by chipping the Stormhost Silver to the panel edges and protruding spikes. These techniques will help create a metal that looks aged and battered. Lastly, very, very lightly dry brush the skin, fur and cloth with a flayed one flesh. And that's it. That's the Rat Ogre finished. Stay tuned. I'll showcase the same technique applied to smaller models and larger miniatures like the Hellpit Abomination. Here though, I want to show you the gradual shading using just those spray undercoats. With a small amount of washing, you can see that the fur is lighter at the top and darker towards the bottom. And now, onto the showcase.
If you've enjoyed today's video, leave a like on it and subscribe for any more content down the track. If you've got requests for any future videos, leave them in the comment section. I read every one. Until next time, thank you for watching.